Hey, do you love a good story? Great. Then you got to check out the Hashtag Storytime podcast. Each episode brings you the craziest, creepiest, and cringiest stories from YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, and beyond. My story is about the time that I was broken up with at the 9-11 memorial uh, twice. Look, the internet is a dumpster full of stories. And I, your host, Will McFadden, dive in headfirst, sift through the flaming trash, and bring you nothing but treasures. Listen to all 21 episodes of Hashtag Storytime now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What's going on, y'all? I'm back with another episode of the Mike Styles Experience. No, it's been a while, uh, but I'm back. This weather's been kind of crazy out here in Las Vegas. You know, it was cool one day, and then the next day it got all warmed up. You know. Um, before I get started, though, I want you to uh, go over to iTunes, leave me a review, and then also subscribe, share, and download this from whatever platform that you use to listen to podcasts on. All right, so this time I wanted to talk about reaching new levels in life. You know, a lot of things happen in our lives, some good and some bad. The thing about it is that we have to make a choice as to whether we allow these different things to keep us down or raise us up. You know, it it takes a lot of effort when you strive for that new level in your life. We don't stay the same. We're always evolving. But um, it's important to understand what worked to get you to one level won't necessarily work to get you to that next level. And so as we evolve, every phase of our lives will require us to be a different version of ourselves. To push yourself to a different level will require that you change at least one thing, if not multiple things. And I believe that it all starts with our habits, you know. And I'm speaking from a point of where I'm kind of going through something right now where I feel that I need a change of environment and just I feel that need to break away from a uh, a certain toxic uh, force. You know, this toxic environment, I feel, has run its course. And so I'm at another crossroads where this particular environment isn't beneficial to me when it comes to my personal life. And so now it's time to step back and, uh, you know, and I, and I believe that I, you know, I got a little comfortable and, and kind of bought into you know, what a lot of people were saying as far as changes within this environment were concerned. And I realized that I don't have to be content with the way things are in this environment, regardless of what kind of changes um, uh, this place was trying to make. And a lot of, it, you know, I feel that. Uh, my best interests are not being considered, you know. It's, and it's not. And it's it's not so much about the money, you know. Just I just want a peace of mind, which I don't think that this place or this environment provides. And um, so, you know, I wanted to kind of share some things uh, with you about taking your life to the next level and being in the driver's seat when it comes to your life. A lot of people can push and pull you towards things that. Uh, don't help you reach that next level. You know, each person's situation is unique and each individual has to consider what the next level looks like for them. One thing about it is that you can't define what the next level is when you're in a toxic environment uh, where you're dealing with toxic people. And so you're going to have to let a lot of shit go. You know, whether it's your job, the job that you hate, people toxic people and just about any other thing that can be a potential obstacle or challenge standing in the way of you reaching that next level and for starters one thing that i thought about one thing that i really thought about is that we have to be more consistent and i know it's easier said than done in a lot of situations but it's something that we have to do it's something that we have to establish Uh, consistency matters in everything that we do even when attempting to reach that next level in our lives, you know, we just can't succeed without it. You know, we all know that things happen, but I believe that the more consistent we are, the better we become. And that in itself is reaching a new level. So the more consistent we are, the more likely it is for us to stick with whatever it is that we're seeking. Another thing is that we can't allow anyone or anything to take away from our peace. You know, 
people can be a great uh, great drain on you and it's the same thing with a lot of issues that we face so we have to understand that these issues they take time to resolve and this can make you feel overwhelmed but we can use shit like that as a leverage and also as a catapult to push us to the next level uh, that we're looking for because We'll always have to deal with people and issues uh, And a lot of these things may not be resolved In the time that we would like them to be resolved in And what I, I found that works best In terms of maintaining our peace Is to not allow these things or anyone To infiltrate our space physically and mentally And this brings up the next thing Which is understanding that You can't change everything at once It just doesn't happen overnight You know, Reaching that next level in life It takes some time and effort and we can't waste our time and energy thinking that something is taking too long. Remember to take things one step at a time. Take one thing at a time. Allow yourself, um, you know, uh, the opportunity to kind of uh, direct your attention to one thing. And in the meantime, enjoy your life. You know, uh, progress is not fast and it's going to take a little while. And for this next one, you know, um, I was talking about choices uh, I mentioned choices earlier You know so to reach a new level In our lives we have to be comfortable With the choices that we make or have made You know we can't make a choice um, About something And then complain the whole time about it If the choice you made doesn't work Then you know Try something different or, or try again And to me that that's the beauty Of it all because we get so many chances You know we have to live you know, with the choices that we make. But there's nothing saying that we have to stick with that choice forever. You know, we don't have to continue to make the same choices all the time in the exact same way. And like I said, we can't complain about it when we do it. Because when we do, we waste more time and energy without realizing that none of it makes us better. None of it makes tomorrow better. Complaining about the choices that we've made uh, it, they only keep us stuck So um, Try not to relive that choice You know On a daily basis And that's why I said We have to learn to let shit go So next We need um, We need to motivate ourselves You know And I say that because You know We can't always rely on others To motivate us I mean They can inspire us But ultimately The motivation part is up to you uh, Taking some form of action Is left for us to do Nobody else can make you take action You know it's something that has to come from within um, and, and don't focus On the negative self talk because that's A good way to destroy self Motivation And we, we got to be able to get rid of saying No I can't and maybe turn that Into saying yes I can you know uh, So reaching that next level Will involve you reminding Yourself of uh, what You can accomplish it has to be repetitive And done on a daily basis And as a result you become the product of your inner speech You become what you tell yourself And how you think about yourself And finally Don't settle You know, There's no reason for any one of us to settle For just being a little bit better Reaching a new level may come in small increments But you don't have to stop right there You know, Push down that gas pedal And uh, maintain your momentum But For whatever reason a lot of us like to kind of look at things and say, well, you know, things have gotten a little bit better so I can kind of relax and, you know, we get comfortable. And we really don't understand that there's more available. There's more to do. And I don't know, it's just one of those things where I think that, you know, it, we often suffer from a lot of disappointments more than wins, you know. And uh, when we do win, we kind of feel like, OK, well, you know, we can take a breather for a minute. You know, we get beat down by life so much that when things, you know, get to where, you know, they start kind of getting a little bit better. You know, we, we start feeling relieved and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But like I said, there's, you know, much more work to be done. You know, we can go from one level to the next and transition into more gains. And it's all about momentum. But we can't do that if we're always stopping and taking too long to kind of get back on track or get back in the game because we're celebrating when things start to get a little bit better. 
And so we have to kind of know when it's time to end that celebration and move on to the next level. So that's been this week's episode, just real short, real quick. I wanted to kind of put that out there, man. It's just been something that I was working on. Um, but as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. might have noticed a change in your neighborhood lately. Yep, Sprint stores are now T-Mobile stores. Now that Sprint is T-Mobile, you get more coverage, value, and benefits than ever before. We've invested billions to bring our 5G from big cities to small towns across America. And great coverage is just the start. From high-speed mobile hotspot data to weekly deals and giveaways, our customers get tons of great benefits. Head to your new T-Mobile store to learn more. Qualifying service and capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan or features. See T-Mobile.com. You might have noticed a change in your neighborhood lately. Yep, Sprint stores are now T-Mobile stores. Now that Sprint is T-Mobile, you get more coverage, value, and benefits than ever before. We've invested billions to bring our 5G from big cities to small towns across America. And great coverage is just the start. From high-speed mobile hotspot data to weekly deals and giveaways, our customers get tons of great benefits. Head to your new T-Mobile store to learn more. Qualifying service and capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan or features. See T-Mobile.com.